Hello, and thank you for joining me here today. I want to tell you a brief story about a most amazing event that's happening right now, right before our eyes. As you know, Romans 1, 16 and 17 teaches us that the gospel, the power of the gospel is for the Jew first and also for the nations. Yet in the nation of Israel today, basically an unreached people group, only 15 to 20,000 Jewish believers in Jesus, in Yeshua, amongst a population of six and a half million. Not so in Zimbabwe and Ethiopia. My dear friend, Jonathan Burnus, Hero Israel Ministries, has been working amongst this ancient Jewish tribe for the last decade, sharing the good news of the gospel with this lost tribe of the house of Israel. Are they authentic? Yes, the nation of Israel has certified and verified their lineage that goes all the way back to Solomon and the Queen of Sheba. Now, the one thing that is so remarkable about this Lemba people is that they are receiving the gospel in unprecedented numbers. When I spoke to my friend Jonathan at the beginning of 2021, there was 150 Messianic Jewish congregations in Ethiopia and Zimbabwe. They have been so passionate for the gospel that now in the fall of 2021, there's over 200 congregations. These congregations have also established schools for their children. Now, one problem remains. These people are the poorest of the poor. They live in a very arid region. They have no clean water and food is very scarce. And so we have been given the opportunity to drill clean water wells for now our brothers and sisters in Yeshua. In fact, here is a video of the very first well. We sent the money weeks ago, and now as the water springs forth from the earth, you can just barely hear the sounds of rejoicing as hundreds of men and women and children went into the streets and the roads and celebrated and danced at the sign of this water. We are now raising the money. We want to see clean water and food for every school amongst this ancient Lemba Jewish tribe. There's over 200 congregations, 50 schools, and at this rate, we need to be drilling a well every week in order to bring glory to the Lord. In Matthew 25 and verse 40, Jesus was speaking one of his last parables, and he said to the people listening, whatever you do for the least of these, my brothers and sisters, you have done it for me. Friends, as you see the video, as you see the pictures, here's a picture of the bathroom facilities. I know none of us would ever want to have to use something like this. Also, here's a picture of one of the meeting halls, the synagogues. And also, here's a picture of the office of the superintendent of all the schools. Now, as you see it here, it's been renovated by our friends, Pastor Dixon from Celebration Church there in Zimbabwe. They painted this little shack. That furniture that you see has also been brought in by them. The superintendent was found sitting on cinder blocks. Whatever you've done for the least of these, my brethren, these are now twice our brethren. They are Jewish and they are now believers in Yeshua. Would you join us today? A gift of any size would be so well appreciated. I'm believing that the Lord is going to equip us to drill as many wells as needed for the 50 schools and to cover the entire region, that now the believers in Yeshua will be able to turn and offer clean water to their own brethren and use it as a message and a method 
of sharing the good news of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who not only loves us, but loves you as well. Join us today. I know you will be very glad that you did. And one day we will see all Israel declare to Jesus, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. God bless you.